It's your boy Conservate 34 and today I want to talk about the Citizen Cope show I went to yesterday. I saw Citizen Cope in Hartford, Connecticut at Infinity Music Hall and Bistro on February 12, 2020. And great venue, first time there. Very intimate, great seating on the lower level and the upper level seemed to have some awesome views and close views, even though it was an upper mezzanine. So for this show, it was a little different than the first show I saw last year. My first Citizen Cope show, April of 2019, was a full band type of show. With some exceptions of him having some times where you just hear his guitar, acoustic guitar. And the show in April, you had electric guitar on songs like Let the Drummer Kick and Bullet in the Target. But for this show, he was on the acoustic guitar. So you had different vibes to these songs. Uh, and a song like D'Artagnan's theme, you know, it's all acoustic, all just Mr. Clarence Greenwood, a.k.a. Citizen Cope. But for the show that I went to in April of 2019, you had sometimes Citizen Cope would, would start off by himself on acoustic guitar and then build up with the full band. So it was awesome to see an acoustic specific show for the first half of it. And even when some of his pals came on stage on drums and, and keys and, and synth and other stuff, it still was more of an, of a, of an acoustic based show. And a couple of songs I hadn't heard before, 200,000 and counterfeit $50 bills. It was nice to hear that song live and also Healing Hands, uh, sh songs two and four, respectively. It's cool to hear these songs and to hear them acoustically and hear what, what they sound like as a storyteller with just an acoustic guitar and not a band. And this is how Mr. Clarence Greenwood, a.k.a. Citizen Cope, started off his music life. Just him on stage with an acoustic guitar as things built up. He mentioned in, in past shows and interviews that he then built on a full band for some of the louder clubs and bars. So it's nice to get him in what, of his, what was his original element. And this show starts off with some acoustic stuff. My only complaint was the crowd. When an artist is playing acoustically, you want to give him energy or give her energy and you want to support them. But you wait to the end of a song and some people, it's really one guy who was just being that guy, uh, had too much to drink and was yelling in the middle of songs. And, you know, while they were, he was sharing stories as far as Citizen Cope, he was kind of talking in between. And at first it was funny and then it got annoying. But other than that, it was nice to hear this acoustic beginning of the show. And even as the members of the drummer comes on stage and since last keys guy comes on stage even as they come on the songs were more acoustic and really more storyteller based um i really did like that in the middle of the show he has a heroin and helicopters run through so he has pablo picasso at, at song seven and then from songs eight to 12 he runs through yella justice the river hours on in and on my love to bring these newer songs from heroin helicopters which came out last year he's bringing these newer songs to have its little zone here even though it's a year after uh it was released and i like a lot of these new songs the river is awesome especially in this more acoustic bass vibe I like On My Love, and even though it's more of it has that electric guitar riff on the main version of it, it was cool to have that acoustic vibe on it. And Hours On In, Justice and Yella, still great as well. So those are awesome songs. And then at the end, he did Duck Confit at the encore. The last thing he did, it wasn't any music to end it off. It was his spoken word, Duck Confit, um, which I'd also heard with the effects from the intro track when I saw him in April of 2019. So this show was special just because you got, even though it was a similar size venue that I saw him in in April of 2019, whenever someone has that acoustic, you know, by themselves for most of the show type vibe, it just feels like you're on, it's, it's like a, it, you're more intimate with the music. 
and you hear the lyrics and you hear just that acoustic guitar, the basic riff, it's stripped down and it's awesome. And he did the Nat King Cole cover of uh, L-O-V-E as well, which he did uh, in the last show I saw. And he does that pretty frequently, but, it, you know, that adds in people who uh, some some older crowd got into that. And it's a song that if people are there for other stuff, oh, I know that song. Yeah, it's awesome. So it was cool to hear that. And um, just an overall great show. My main takeaway from this show is just listening to some of the stories he has. And there were two big things that really were awesome, kind of just moments of, 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 of learning from someone and reflect self-reflection. He talked about first why the, the album that just came out last year. It's called Heroes and Helicopters. And uh, obviously the opioid epidemic was one part of that. But the other part, the helicopters part, was about the fact that he struggled recently with trying to understand that where he is is where he needs to be. You know, he's he let critics and let people that said, oh, you should be much bigger. You should have blown up. You should be at bigger venues. You should have sold more records. That stuff got to his head years ago. And he's come to the point where he says, I don't care about that. I'm where I need to be. The, the halls I book, the venues I book, the albums amounts that I sell, it's reaching the right people. And it doesn't matter that I'm not performing in large arenas or stadiums as a headliner. And he's doing festivals or he's doing smaller clubs. He is where he needs to be. And I agree. I love the, how easy it is to access his music. Going to College Street Music Hall in New Haven and having reasonably priced tickets to be really close to an artist who's a great singer-songwriter, who's had hits, but you can access him. You can't say that for some artists where you have these games with Ticketmaster, Live Nation, and you have these larger venues and the higher prices. You're getting a great quality product, and it's just as good, if not better, than some of the acts you see in these big arenas, but it's in an intimate venue like Infinity Hall, the, uh, you know, the, 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 the location in Hartford I went to. So that was the first thing is that he is where he needs to be. And he translated it to all of us. That you know what? We think we got to be this doctor. We're not there yet. We're still in our masters. We got to be this position. We're not there yet. We're a couple rings below. Where you are is where you are. A great message. The other message I loved about this show is he talked about this idea of politics dividing us and saying, you know what, you have to learn from people who have different perspectives that may not agree. And he mentioned this great point that the person who may have taught you how to tie your shoes, right? Family members or, or fathers or uncles or mothers or grandmothers, some of the same people that have taught you some of what you know, go to the ballot box and, and vote for someone else. And that's okay. As long as there's a respect there, that's okay. And that is so important. And you have so many artists. Now, look, any artist, if you do your little blur about who you want to, who you vote for, whatever, blah, 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 that's cool. But you have so many artists that just, they're, they're all caught up in, you rather better be a, the same political views as me or else. But, but Mr. Clarence Greenwood, a.k.a. Citizen Cope, is just saying, look, here's the reality with this world. We got to stick together. We got to love. We got to appreciate each other and respect differing opinions. He didn't isolate anyone in his show with the music he, he played. And he only united people. As people came from some of the seats in the back all the way up to the front, there was an open area. I was second row, um, which was a great view at the venue. But there's a little space between the stage and the first and first row. So people just came up and started dancing, you know, randomly, organically, uh, about halfway through the show. And then all of a sudden, you had all these people standing in front of the stage and security was like, it's cool, whatever, everyone's respectful, you have a little height, so people can't just hop on stage. And it was an awesome little party as the night went from acoustic only to acoustic with a little bit of drums and synth and piano. But a great show um, and an awesome experience to hear some of the music that I've heard from last year and heard for a lot of my life, the Clarence Greenwood uh, you know, recordings, that was the the album that really got me into Citizen Cope and really the, the gateway into him was 
he was he the song uh, the bullet in the target version with Rhyme Fest. Being a huge hip hop fan, I remember hearing that. I'm like, who's that dude? Oh, that's Citizen Co. And I started going back, listening to the old stuff, and started to follow him through um, to some of the newer stuff. One lovely day, and um, you know, just you know, some of the other music that came out. But um, as I said on Twitter, uh, Mr. Clarence Greenwood, aka Citizen Cope, thank you so much for sharing your music. And thank you so much for being accessible. Um, you know, you are at the right stage. You know, the stage you reach and the intimacy of your shows are what makes it great. And why I'll come back if you come around to Hartford again or New Haven again. Um, it is a great show. He is pretty funny. He has great charisma. And even as he was feeling under the weather, he still sang very, very well. He's a great musician. And um, thank you for sharing your music with Hartford. I know you move on to Fairfield, Connecticut, some other venues as well. But we wish you the best on your touring and the best in your personal life as a father, as you share on social media, and as just a person trying to make a difference through music and, and through the, the different things you do. But it's your boy, Constance 34. That's all I got for today. Peace.